Light 98.7's Most Music Morning Show at 7.50, 10 before 8. Sunshine today climbing up to 74. It's that time again. All right, joining us live in the studio, the declutter coach is back. Deb Cabral, welcome. Hey, Matt. How are you today? All ready for the fourth? Yes, I am. You know what? I'm actually, we're just going to relax. We're away last weekend for a family wedding, and this weekend is just, I, I'm actually doing an organizing project myself. I knew it. I was going to say, so you're, uh, you're For gonna, myself, okay, yeah. Okay, I was going to so you're going to take the day off from cleaning and decluttering? Of yes, course not. Yes, yes. You know, we have an unfinished basement with, most people would say, oh, it's already organized, but my husband and I just want to tweak it a little. We're going to buy some shelves, and you know, it's just going to be like a fun little thing. We're just going to do one little project and then just relax. There's no rest for you, is there? Yeah, and my all my kids are away. They're going to be doing things this weekend with friends or, you know, so it's, yeah, we're like just my husband. And I, in fact, I have to say happy birthday to my husband, Dan, today. Happy birthday, Dan. Yes. All right, so today, Matt, we're going to talk about making or even finding some cash when you declutter. Oh, I love this. Sounds idea. like a good plan, yeah. huh? Okay, the first one is your pantry. Now, I know you and I talked about you don't have a pantry, but a lot of folks that do have a pantry, what we find is when we help them organize it, we help them create meals based on the food that we are they already have in there. Because a lot of times, you know, some of you are guilty out there. You go grocery shopping, and what do you do? You buy new stuff, and what happens to the old stuff? Instead of rotating and bringing the old stuff forward and putting the new stuff behind, which is what we recommend, people just kind of shove the new stuff in and then the stuff in the back never gets used. So we like to organize it by zones, and then we tell people if you go to the Food Network, um, dot com. Okay. You can put in a couple of ingredients and it'll give you all these different recipes. So if you have like black beans and a can of pasta and a can of soup, it'll give you ideas. And so we help people save money by using what they already have. And most of the time when we organize someone's pantry, they save for the next two, you know, two weeks of grocery shopping. What about like the stuff that expires? We throw that away. And that's what happens when you move all the, the you know, the stuff that's already in there to the back and put new stuff in. You don't check the dates and then uh, there's always expired stuff. Because I have a can of Campbell's pea soup from 1974. <laughs> I bet the Campbell's people would love that. Just to do an experiment, and open it and see what it looks like in there. <laughs> right, right. The other thing is actually decluttering your closet. When you organize your closet, it is inevitable. Almost every client we work with, we find in pants pockets cash, um, uncashed checks, unused gift cards. That's crazy. Every single, you know, coat pockets, you know, pants pockets, blazers, skirts. It's inevitable. We What's find the most it, you've ever found? Oh, well, we actually found in the closet, in someone's closet, a bag of cash. They didn't even know they had it. Like, I'm talking a bag of cash. Wow. Yes, and she knows who she is. It was unbelievable. And so she has a lot of rental properties, and she had been collecting rent and didn't realize, and she actually thought that it was stolen, and it was just buried in her closet. That is insane. Yeah. So, Must be nice. I know. So check every pocket, coat pockets, pan pockets. You always find, it's fun to find that extra, oh, I didn't even know I had this 10 I love bucks, when that you know? happens. It never yeah. happens to me. I want to do a real quick business tip yeah. for those of you that are in the office. So I love to talk about how to be more efficient in the office, but one of the things that we fight, and I know you probably do too as a disc jockey, is information overload. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So one of my favorite tips is reduce the number of carbon copy emails you get. Do you get a lot of those? Surprisingly, I don't get uh, that many emails. Well, that that's good. But viewers, listeners, start emailing Matt. <laughs> But, you know, a lot of times folks in offices, you know, everybody wants to keep everybody, you know, informed, which is a great thing. But many times you get included on emails that it's really, you don't need to be there. And then there's a whole string of them and oh, you're I being copied those. on. Oh, it's so annoying. It we isn't. Do... Yeah, you don't know how to respond or reply, and you reply, and you're like, is this going to go back to the person or not? And then I missed out. This actually happened between us, didn't it? Yes, it did. <laughs> that's why you're bringing it up. I know. Yeah, that's what, when I send you the transformation Thursday, that was what happens. But, you know, a lot of times, again, I think it's great that you want to keep other people informed, but really only, if you're sending an email, only CC people that really need to be there. I love this idea. And then when you're replying, don't do reply all, just do reply to the person that you need to reply to. So that's a good one. Yes. The other thing that I love to talk about, which is like helping to fight this information overload is try to take your smartphone and put it on silent during meetings or when you're you know handling important tasks we do not have to be a slave to our phone and i think we just are so used to every ding and ping we need to answer we don't we I, don't i have a lot of angry friends because my phone is always on silent i know because when i when i get here and i can't get in and i text you you don't hear me <laughs> I, 
I, I apologize. <laughs> no, I'm teasing you. Well, it's hard. You know, you've got to really pay attention. He's got this like board like a pilot here that he has to manage and keep the music going and be funny. And so today we're going down in flames. <laughs> It's always fun to be here, Matt. You have a great fourth. I know you're going to Boston. I am. That's great. Boston. 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 Yeah, so uh, what's your website, Deb? It's declutterCoachDeb.com. And then also we'd love folks to check out our television show, OrganizationMotivation.com. And I think I mentioned to you that we are going national yes. with both our new segments, which are called Organize in 60 Seconds. They went live in Bakersfield, your former home, a few weeks ago. And on Monday, Matt, our television show goes live, um, National Bakersfield, California. Exciting. Oh, I, uh, Organized in 60 Seconds and Organization Motivation. So we're really excited. All right. We're going to have video on our website also your website. Our yes. website is light987.com. Thanks for joining us, Dad. Thanks, Matt. Happy 4th. Well, I think we were funny this week, considering you're stressed out. I think we were funny this week. We actually were funny with each other. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. yeah. See you. Maybe that's under pressure and stressed yeah. out as fast. Oh, I'm sorry. I know I'm heading to Bridge Street now. Got to make a quick stop and then, you know, the, I don't know if you knew, the last time I was here, I got here and I didn't feel good. I didn't feel good the whole morning. That was but, two weeks ago, right? Yeah, two Oh, that's right. I did tell you this. We did the yeah. Oh, I did tell you that. I, I never went to Syracuse. I was so sick. I literally went home. I was in bed the whole rest of the day. And I don't have time to be sick. So I, I, even when I don't feel good, I just push through. I couldn't. I was so sick. I don't know what happened. And I had the flu shot. It was definitely the flu. I had the chills. I couldn't eat. Oh, I'm, like, I'm too busy to be sick. So if you get a chance, I know you're busy, but you got to check out Eric's office. I will. Oh, my God. It looks amazing. I'm really excited. How long did it take? Um, we were here about four hours. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. And he was funny, so it's going to make for a funny show. Every time we found something, like I'd start singing, he'd start singing. So we're like, we're on a radio station. We have to sing. <laughs> I can't sing it, to be honest, neither can he. So um, we were funny. <laughs> nice. All right. I was, oh, wait, I got to get a photo. Okay. I need a photo from my book. I don't want to do bonus uh, footage, just a bonus video when you're stressed out. Okay. There we go. Happy fourth. Happy fourth. I know. Okay. I'm wondering if Ray is here. I was going to tease him because I told Ray I wanted him to be on our show. Yeah. He came and said hello, then he left. Really? Yeah, he's on my poo-poo list. Uh -huh. well, I, I don't think he wanted to be on the show, so he was like, oh, I got to go. I'm like, oh, no. He's happy behind the scenes. Yeah, he is. <laughs> All right. Take care, Dad. Dad. See you soon. All right. For this. Days, weeks, even months, and months. On scorebig.com, when you successfully name a ticket price, on average, you'll save over 33% below box office price each time you buy, with no added fees or shipping charges ever. There are lots of places to buy tickets, but if you really want to save, then check out scorebig.com. And now save even more at scorebig.com. Click on the radio mic and enter code 1010, and we'll take an additional $20 off your ticket purchase. That's scorebig.com, promo code 1010.